Jesus, you, you know what they say, don't you? As greedy as a pig. I see why. All right, test my special forces skills. I've heard there's a bit of a party kicking off in Talad Plu over Song Grant, and that is where we're heading. But don't make the same mistake as I've just done and come to Talad Plu on the BTS Stark Green Line. We are nowhere near it. To get into the thick of the action, you need to get to the railway station. And to get there, we need to go to Wong Wei and Yai first. Well, my wallet definitely won't need any surgery today. Only three baht to Talab Plu. It's just one station anyway. Wang Win Yai is one of my favorite railway stations in Bangkok. You get such a sense of community around here and the platform doubles up as a market. I've just arrived and I've already fallen in love with the colour scheme. Yellow and brown is very unique indeed. And I've got a funny feeling it's going to be a long day today. The sun's just come out as if by magic, so that adds a few degrees and a bit more sweat. But I've got my chrysanthemum tea to keep me cool. Anyway, without further ado, let's get exploring around Talab Plu. Well, this is how they serve drinks around here in plastic bags. 22 baht lemon tea from here. Anyway, Talab Plu, as you well know, is well known for having a culinary variety of delicious delights. For a more closer analysis of this area and its food, check out Gary the Roaming Cook's channel. Anyway, I was thinking the only way I can show you all the food around here is to take a lot of shots and then put them all to a piece of music. Okay, which one? There's four of them and two bottles. I've got to ration them for each one. The biggest one. Oh, geez, they don't last long. Oi! 
They're finished. All right, here we are, pigs. Jesus, you, you know what they say, don't you? As greedy as a pig. I see why. This one's trying to wrestle it from me. All right, all right. One's the husband, and one's the wife. I'm assuming the wife is the one with the pink thing around the neck. No more guys and girls. Well, flashy modern condos are not too far away around here, but this is not a cost of living or a guide to condo prices. I just wanted to show you this patch of land which has been put aside for something called the First One Market. I'm assuming it's a market where they sell things from stalls and not a property market of some kind because I can't read Thai, but it will definitely add a few more shopping options to the area. Talaplu has a history going back well over 200 years. When Tonbury was the capital city of Thailand, this area had a lot of Chinese migrants. When King Rama I moved the capital city across the river, a lot of Chinese migrants moved to Sampeng in what we now know as Chinatown. Talaplu translates into beetle market. Beetle leaves in the past were a main source of income for the area and vast plantations would grow alongside the canals around here, including this one, the Klong Bangkok Yai. Now I'm hoping to get a boat, but today they're not running my way. I'm trying to get to Wat Paknam. Well, you can't miss the large gold Buddha statue on the skyline here. This is Wat Paknam, a temple founded during the Ayutthaya era in 1610. It had the full support and backing of the royal family and in 1916 underwent a massive revival and restoration under the much revered Luang Pusot Kanbasaro.
This is the famous temple of King Taxin the Great. He reigned from 1767 until 1782 and he died aged just 47. This was his favourite temple. He would often come here to stay and meditate and get a bit of peace and quiet and time for reflection. This temple, what interim, was built during the Ayutthaya era and when King Taxin died they had a royal crematorium built here and his ashes have been buried under a shrine where people still come today to pay their respects. Well, I've tried to move away as far as possible from the speakers, but I'm sure you can still hear just how loud they are. But it is a celebration. It's New Year, it's Song Grand, so what the hell. There is a bit of water splashing going on, but it's of the traditional variety where you burn incense, say a prayer, make a donation, and then gently pour a bowl of water over a Buddha statue. Lots of smells, sights, sounds, hustle and bustle, people, and just general good atmosphere around here. Definitely worth a visit. I've got to have a go on something and I'm not sure. They've got bingo just behind me, but I don't fancy that. They've got a wheel, but I'm probably a bit past it and a bit heavy for that. Darts, I used to be pretty good at that back in the day. Let's see what I can do. I've got to hold it from the arrowhead. Jeez, I feel like a useless. I feel useless here. Oh, she's given me a blue one. Maybe this is the secret one. Maybe I'm supposed to win. Oh yeah. One more, last one. Bonus one. Two balloons, man. Okay. Which one? Okay, which one should I choose? That's cute. That's got to be it, isn't it? Pop and carb. <laughs> All right, test my special forces skills. I know they're going to be a bit rusty, but let's see what I can do. I've got to destroy the star. Oh, let's have a look. Not bad. Well, I'm just waiting for the train to get out of Talad Plu. It's been a long, hot day here, and here it comes. 
Anyway, I just want to say thanks very much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing. If you want to support me, support the channel, you can buy me a coffee. That would be fantastic. Or you can join the channel and become a member. That just leads me to say thank you very much, and I'll see you on the next video.